How is it going, everybody? My name is just Jared, but you guys can just call me Jared, and welcome back to another No Man's Sky video. I know it's been a while. Sorry, this video is going to be up a little bit later than everybody else will have it up because I had a Dreams Cast live stream I had to do. And it was scheduled uh, for 11 in the morning, so. You know, I'm a little behind with this, but I did know it was a thing. So, if you aren't aware, yesterday, No Man's Sky Visions trailer leaked somehow. Who knows? But it did. And I didn't make a video on it because I was like, they're probably going to release the patch notes very soon and everything else very soon officially because they already had the trailer made. So, it must be soon. And here we are. No Man's Sky Visions. This right here looks amazing. But this is uh, basically the video where I show you the trailer and we talk about the patch notes. So, Visions, introducing update 1.75. Discover a more varied, more diverse universe in the Visions update. Introducing new planetary biomes, more colorful worlds, new fauna and flora, archaeology, salvaging, and much more. Here's the trailer. I'll play it. You're welcome. Welcome to No Man's Sky version 1.75. Visions. Exotic new worlds make exploration more exciting than ever. Collect rare artifacts as trophies of alien worlds. Raid from procedural crashed freighters. Encounter bizarre and otherworldly new life forms. Debris and alien technology can be salvaged and sold, whilst existing planets are more vibrant, varied, and colorful. Archaeologists can unearth remains of ancient life forms. Community missions now share progress globally. Visual enhancements include improved skies and atmospherics. Survive extreme climates to collect precious new materials. Celebrate events with new constructible fireworks. Visions is an important step in the No Man's Sky journey. More will follow. So, the trailer looks amazing, yes, and when I seen it yesterday, it blew my mind, uh, because nobody, we weren't expecting this, we just got the abyss, we just got the abyss, there has to even been, like, patches after the abyss, now we're already getting visions, I don't know, it's crazy, so, let's talk about the patches, and the patch notes, and all the stuff, all the new additions, new planetary biomes is up first, new anonymous Planet biomes create a weirder, more diverse universe to explore. So I'm assuming these are going to be like the exotic planets. And maybe that's what anonymous means. I don't know. They always have different words now. This looks like a stained glass type deal here. We've got uh, these weird things, which are like almost looking like the plants you see underwater. You just got awesome art. Like this stuff looks weird. I can't wait. New creatures. Uh, also, this update's out, out tomorrow on Thanksgiving for everybody in the U.S. and... Um, It'll be November 22nd for everybody else. Um, new creatures. Bizarre creatures have evolved in on anomalous planets, bringing new life and movement to these eerie landscapes. This is unbelievable. This this right here, this is so cool. And then these are just, I don't know. I mean, we know what those are. These are new. These look like bubbles, but not the same. They look more like balloons now with water. These are just crystals. Lush diversity. The universe has become more alien, vibrant, and exciting to explore. New shades of sky and grass enable more unique worlds and a more diverse set of science fiction aesthetics, which is what everybody wants. That's what everybody's been talking about the last three weeks. Non-stop tweets about, I'm going back to playing vanilla No Man's Sky so I can get the color BS. Anyway, here it is. More color. It's probably not going to be exactly the same as how it was before, but it's going to be more color. Look, that's a pink sky, a green sky, a red sky. Something we never had. We've always had blue sky, blue water since next. And now they're changing it back. I cannot wait. Anyway, good stuff. Water variation. New types of water 
create stranger worlds to be discovered both above and below the surface. Now, what I don't really 100% know is if this types of water is just color or underwater, because it doesn't really say underwater. But who knows? We'll find out. Because they did just add the underwater update, so I'm not sure. Atmospheric types and rainbows. Atmospherics and skies have been improved, and stormy weather conditions can now produce rainbows in planetary atmospheres, which is awesome. I just hope ra rainbows aren't everywhere like ringed planets are everywhere. We'll see. Uh, we also have procedurally generated freighters, uh, freighter crashes. So, that's cool. Exotic trophies. Exotic planets can be searched to discover mysterious artifacts which can be claimed as trophies. These otherworldly objects can be rehoused in habit habitable bases to create a showcase of your voyages across the universe. Awesome. I have talked about this for so long. Being able to take things you find and put them in your base as trophies or as like if you find artifacts or if you find like relics, whatever it may be. Finally, this is a step in that direction. I do want to see eventually where we could pick up the actual, um, what are the, the, uh, the things, the, the artifacts you get from the ruins and actually put those up too, but hopefully we can get there eventually. Here's some pictures. This is what looks like the stained glass thing. We've seen these. These are the underwater weird things that you can find underwater. We got like the jacks, the cool glowy plants. So yeah, no bubbles. I wonder if you can get bubbles. Maybe that's a bubble in the back there. I can't tell. Anyway, archaeology. With more varied planets come more reasons to explore. Unleash your inner archaeologist and search the galaxy for planets containing the ancient bones of alien life forms. Complete, intact skeletons are partially rare and especially available. So it looks like you got three tiers of rarity, possibly, or maybe this is just all that we see. And then it also tells you here uh, ancient bones are found, which is pretty sweet. That lets you know. It's pretty good. I can't wait. This looks awesome. This is probably what I'm most excited for, along with the colors. Um, I love this whole like ancient relic, ancient, ancient, ancient anything. When I was a kid, I wanted to be an archaeologist, so maybe that might be something to do with it. You also have salvageable scrap. Unearth the long forgotten remains of fallen satellites and scrap them for salvageable parts. Explorers must use their multi tool to dismantle the reinforced casing and extract the valuable technology within, but risk drawing the attention of new challenging corrupted central drones. Corrupted central drones. Haven't seen those yet, but we do see this and an emote. It's good stuff. So that's going to be interesting. It looks like, once again, three rarities. I, I hope this stuff is worth it in units or in some other way because right now, the um, ancient artifacts that you can find at ruins aren't really worth it. I, I liked doing them when they were worth it, and you had like these rare artifacts that you could either keep um, because they are worth so much or sell them because you want units, whereas now they're, they're not really worth anything. Um, so I hope these are actually worth something, and they are, they, I hope they vary where it's not just sparkling tank, water, uh, water stain, advanced, whatever, the same over and over again. Like I hope these aren't the only three. It's kind of essentially what I mean. We'll see. Storm crystals. Those who endure the hazardous storms that blast extreme planets can seek out precious new crystal treasures. These spectacular natural formations become luminescent during the worst weather and can be collected by in interpret intrepid explorers to be traded for a small fortune. This looks awesome. I love this effect. I can't wait to see this in game. Tomorrow's going to be such a busy day. There's going to be so much happening tomorrow. All right. Onward. Ver you see that's a purple bush colors varied hazardous flora new varieties of hazardous flora can now be found spreading across the galaxies ready to snare the unwary and reward the curious carnivorous trap plants and bloated gas flora can be eliminated from afar carefully approached for extra substance rewards carnivorous trap plants did they say we we're gonna have carnivorous trap plant or plants at launch holy cow it's been a while and here we go we got it finally cool stuff that's what it looks like Great, another thing I'm going to accidentally step in. Those look huge compared to the poison plants. Holy cow. Great. This is unreal right here. This is unreal right here. Let me say it again. This is unreal. This right here. This is going to scare the heck out of me. This thing looks creepy. It's just a crab. That's a rock. Anyway. Certain planets now feature strange alien rock creatures who will attempt to flee the heat at the the heat the, who will attempt to flee the heat of a mining laser mine these runaway minerals to extract concentrated resource rewards <sighs> that's just amazing this is this is like um they're like mimic chests from rpgs like a chest that you go to open but turns into like a creature and it tries to eat you same deal except this one's running away if they attack you oh man 
Here we go. Shared community mission progress. Progress. A new community research mission allows explorers to share progress and work towards a common goal. And here it has community research. You're talking to the collectible guy. It says tier one complete, tier two complete, and then tier three, and it gives you the week time. So this is going to be interesting to see how the community uh, events actually evolve and what changes depending on, you know, now that they're global. It's interesting. Um, discover the Visions universe together to unlock the new Eye of the Corvax helmet, which looks really good. I love the lights. As well, uh, it says as well as well. That's a typo. As well as new emotes, building parts, and a range of fireworks to celebrate any occasion. You've got three emotes here. You've got this cool building part, which is from, well, I'm not going to tell you because it's a bit of a spoiler where it's from, but if you haven't gone through the whole game. Then you've got what seems to be uh, three new emotes. I can't tell. This one's like a looking afar. This one's like a cool hero pose. And this one looks like either um, like a worship kind of thing or like, I don't know. Who knows? Fireworks. Awesome stuff. Uh, crash freighter variations. Crash freighters are now procedurally generated with dozens of possible configurations. Explore different crash site layouts and carve a path with your multi-tool to retrieve the valuable cargo buried nearby. So I don't think they're getting a change, just they're, they're procedural now. I don't know if the actual cargo is going to be changed or if you actually have to explore the crash site layouts and they're different for different freighters. I'm not sure, but we do know that they are procedural. And then we get to the patch notes. Let's go. Missions and progression. Fix an issue where players could be prevented from earning a free fader, freighter in the tutorial. Allow the Dreams of the Deep mission to detect if the Nautilus chamber had been built nearby before the mission started. There you go. Fix an issue where missions that visited trade terminals could advance without their objective being completed. Fix an issue that prevented higher level aeration membrane upgrade modules from appearing in the space station tech shops. Fix an issue that prevented freighter hyperdrive modules, upgrade modules, from appearing in the space station tech shops. Fix an issue where players could fail to learn the living glass blueprint at the correct time. Fix an issue where players could fail to learn the Axelcraft boost blueprint at the correct time. Nip nip blueprints can now be acquired from the base farmer after their mission chain is complete. Finally, I haven't had this for ages. <laughs> Jeez. Fix the issue where NPCs awarding procedurally generated upgrade modules would select from an insufficiently random pool. Fix an issue that prevented some doors, plus items that require Atlas Pass V1 from accepting V2 or V3. So if you didn't know, usually if you have V3, you can kind of get rid of V2 and V1 because V3 is supposed to open all the doors. But apparently, now it will. It should because of the bug is fixed. Adjusted the behavior of wanted level timer so that the wanted level decays as the timer does. That's awesome. UI. Improve the appearance of the planetary readout from space. Thank you. Thank you. That's awesome. It says approve the p appearance. I always have that issue where I'm trying to look at a planet from a distance and it doesn't quite land correctly on the reticle. You have to like aim above the planet or below it. I don't know. Added a new section to the inventory item pop-up hinting at the item's use. Improve the visual feedback when collecting items, especially rare items. That's pretty sweet. I wonder if they made it so like, for example, when you're playing Destiny or a game where you get loot, once you get like a really rare thing... It has some noise or some cool uh, effect on screen. I wonder if that's something that's that's what they're talking about. Improve the text labels for armored objects. Added a filter for not owned to the Quicksilver shop to make it easier to buy those cool stuff. Fix an issue which would allow players to browse their existing fleet while purchasing a new frigate. Fixed a rare case where certain game inputs could temporarily fail to be recognized if remapped then reverted to defaults and prevented an erroneous boost icon appearing while piloting the Nautilus on PS4 and Xbox One. Awesome. So they're, okay. An erroneous boost icon. I always saw that and was wondering, how do I get the boost? So apparently there is no boost and it was a glitch. Awesome. Bases and buildings. Fix an issue. <coughs> Excuse me. Fix an issue preventing building multiples of storage container one on PS4 and Xbox One. Planets and discoveries. Fix an issue where extreme weather planets could fail to generate storms. Pr improve the distribution of ammonia and uranium on toxic and radioactive planets. Improve some analysis visor text descriptions. Fix an issue where the train manipulator could destroy valuable objects. Fix an issue where the other players' discoveries could prevent fauna and flora from being scanned with the analysis visor. Added identifiable disc dec descriptors for all anonymous planet types. That's awesome. Fix an issue where resource crystals, e.g. dehydrogen, could be rediscovered on every planet. 
fix an issue where many minerals would be called Yukovskite. Yukovsite. Yukovsite. I've seen that so much. I was always reading Yukovsite, and I'm like, I'm pretty sure I've seen that before. Apl allow the torch to be used when exploring crash freighters. Okay, cool. Visuals. Fix an issue where ExoCraft customization colors could be incorrect until refreshed in the customizer. Fixed a rendering issue with oversized funky. Fix an issue where stationary objects could sometimes appear blurred. Improve the draw distance on some exotic planet objects. And fix some out of memory crashes and fix a crash when quitting the game during a gesture. That is all of the patch notes. Look at all this cool stuff. It looks awesome. This looks creepy and weird, but everything looks really good. I can't wait to jump in, do some streams. Uh, I, I mean, I've been playing um, without streaming um, for for quite a bit now, getting all the missions and stuff done, getting caught up so I don't have to deal with any of that, and I can just play. Ah, it looks good. So tomorrow, I'll be live streaming No Man's Sky. I don't know what time, because tomorrow and today, the rest of today, it'll be so busy. I apologize if this video seems rambly or I have no idea what I'm talking about. I'm in a bit of a rush. So if this video has some issues or something, my bad. I'm going to try to edit it super quickly. There's so much to do right now and today and tomorrow. I hope you guys have a good Thanksgiving if you celebrate it. Oh, man. And I can't wait for this tomorrow. Uh, hopefully it launches like early in the morning so I can actually do what I have to do and play without it getting in the way of like Thanksgiving dinner and Black Friday shopping. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I can't wait. Update time. No Man's Sky, Hello Games is amazing. Oh my god, Sean Murray, you're the best. I love you. I love all of you. Thank you. Peace out.